Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to Sweet Surrender Overview. I believe I saw this project a couple times on Reddit recently. That's kinda why I'm surprised that it's coming on the official store because essentially I thought it's like an app lab title. Nowadays it's so hard to tell what game releases were. Altogether this one store is just for some things you have to search for but I feel like app lab slowly blends into the official one. So Sweet Surrender seems to be a roguelike shooter with procedurally generated levels. I'm not like a huge enthusiast of that genre though one title on quest really hit the nail on the head for me and that was Until You Fall which essentially uses the same system is just an RPG with pretty cool melee combat. Sweet Surrender seems to be using this sail shading Jupiter Gradish artwork. It really works well with designs like that where you don't really have to worry about graphics and the performance you basically just focus on the gameplay itself. The premise is to just survive through waves of enemies and climb the dystopian mega tower. I'm not really sure if there's something like boss fights or the end of the game like from the description I would say it's like endless mode but eventually I expect things to be repeatable. One thing I remember I saw on reddit with this game is that it lets you combine upgrades for your weaponry which is not really common feature nowadays for quest shooters. The only distinctive I remember was in zero caliber and it was not like changing your gameplay rather just enhancing it. In sweet surrender they claim that you'll be able to change the effects and really different ways of how your weapon works. From the overall impression it looks fun to me. I guess everything will come down to the AI and if the game will be actually challenging because that's the point of roguelikes. If you won't be dying very frequently, what's the point? Let's go to the gameplay. Oh, we started in settings, not even in the main menu. <laughs> Teleport. <laughs> How dare you. Smooth turning, medium. Everything seems consistent with today's standards. I guess we start the tutorial. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Uh, reload down, okay. The main menu kinda is wonky if we're talking about just the distance. Store your weapon in your inventory to your sides. Oh, the holsters are too low, but I can change it. Okay. Oh, it's like that, okay. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, two handguns. I can't take his parts, okay. Upgrade chips. Equip chips on your wristband to enhance your abilities. Chips only affect the hand on which they are equipped. Maximum HP. Cute, okay. Where do we go? I guess through the doors and stuff. Was that the end of the tutorial? So we're gonna progress through the map to unlock further levels. We only have handgun for now. What's this crack? This seems suspicious. I guess everyone is an enemy, let's just assume that. <laughs> Shit, massive. I need your handgun. Thank you. Well, I already am half HP, so. Sometimes when I move, it gets stuck, like in one place for some reason. What's this? Ow! <laughs> Oh, I can't go back. Clear the room first. I 
feels like in good condition, can be used to power large vehicles. <laughs> I guess we'll be able to mine it later or something. Oh shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, machine pistol. Oh. Ow, what the hell? So we are having pistol and machine gun. <laughs> oh, health pack. That was nothing, dude. <laughs> You can buy stuff, but we have no money. Oh, now we have! <laughs> Next level. Second machine gun. <laughs> okay, the same actually. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, this movement is a bit wonky, like I'm not sure for what reason exactly, but I can't like comfortably move around, what the hell? My hand is like stuck, what the? Game. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's just gonna be the premise. Just climb, try to survive, collect weapons, stuff like that. Wait, I was in this map. <laughs> Not like completely random generated, I guess. Yeah, like we're repeating the same shit over. Oh wait, what the hell? Now it's the different part? That's interesting. Where are you? <laughs> I think I prefer handguns. Yeah. This is my playstyle, definitely. Hmm. 
になった<笑>私たちは作るためにやっているので、それを作るためにやっているので、それを作るためにやっている I collected, but it didn't add up. I've been scammed. <laughs> Now I know they explode. Already, and I can't buy because I didn't collect. What did he drop? Mobile malware. Basic EMP runs have a low chance to stun machines. Those upgrades, they're like hard to tell if there's something on the ground or not. Maybe they should have like a pulsating thing or whatever because they're like blending in with the parts of the robots. Healing pulse? Chasing me. <laughs> yeah, like collectibles that like help you or you can use, not like pick up because you can pick up everything, but things that benefit your character should have a pronunciation in the layout toughness. Wonder increasing maximum HP. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Go up. Oh, grapple gun launches a grapple that will attach to surfaces physically pull gun back to activate. Whoa, cool! And then you can like do a style points, but I can't holster it, so I just do the pistols <laughs> unless I have holsters on my shoulders. No. I think you should. Two is like clearly not enough in this game. Adrenaline increases damage and vulnerability on use. Okay, I see what's happening. When you're moving and turning at the same time, you don't move. I don't think we have a setting for that. No, okay, so this should be smoothed out definitely because when you're like in the combat scenario, this is very much annoying. You essentially have to like stop, but you stop at the weird angles. Like, this is definitely something that prevents a smooth combat. Hey, that was just pathetic. <laughs> yeah, definitely this game is fun, it's just this thing is very much annoying. If we're just talking about the action perspective, like, it makes no sense to move around, turn, and then stop. Like, this is counterintuitive to what it should be nowadays. I think because of the art style specifically, sometimes I have a hard time to tell what I can pick up or what's useful for me. So, I don't know, maybe like glowing things around the objects, like weaponry, some kind of aura, or any indicator aside from just the environment to know that there is something to collect. Some gears that I picked up didn't register at all so I couldn't buy anything later on. But aside from those fixes that pretty much I think it's easy to update, the game is okay. Hard to tell if we're gonna play it more. I'm definitely waiting for the fixes because I don't feel comfortable playing and that's what counts for me because then my performance is either really really good or trash like now so we'll have to see. <laughs>